You know, it's just different. You're off-road, finding different tracks to different areas and going to locations that not everyone can visit. Welcome to the good life. If a bush walks into areas that you know that there might only be a couple of people that go there that day. It's not a crowded place, but you know, they're gorgeous locations that if they were easily accessible, there'd be thousands of people at them every day. G'day, my name's Jason. Let's go on an adventure. Jason lived most of his life on the picturesque beaches of Bribey Island, so when he found himself at a career crossroads, he looked into his own backyard and put the foot down on a new idea. All right, so as we're going along, guys, if you have any questions, feel free to ask. If it's got to do with the island, the history, the national park, the animals, that sort of stuff, normally I'll know the answer. However, if you catch me out on something, I'm just going to make it up and hopefully you girls don't know any difference. <laughs> we moved here in 1996. And my first impressions of the island was it was a really quiet, sleepy place. Back then, we'd go to the beach, we'd go for rides on the push bikes, go to the skate park, and the night would set in, we'd go home, get in a heap of trouble. First time I, I went forward driving that I can remember, it would have been on Bribe, it was one of the back tracks, and I remember we were going up past one area, and there was a heap of water on the left hand or the right hand side, and my dad ended up putting me on his lap and he let me steer the car. The first job I got was in a warehouse, uh, and then after that I ended up finding another job doing steel fixing, but it was, it was a pretty tough job. I remember one day just looking around, looking at everyone and going, everyone, that's doing this job, you know, they've got bad backs, bad knees. And I thought, I don't want to end up like that. So I thought to myself, what can I do? Uh, it was reasonably rough, because, you know, I'd put a lot of effort into trying to start this marketing company. Uh, went down to the Gold Coast, tried to sell it, worked out I couldn't sell it. Thought I'd wasted a ton of money. Yeah, I did feel like I'd failed at that time. Uh, but I guess every failure leads to some sort of something else that sometimes leads to success. Uh, all right, we'll jump out here and do some kayaking. And then I've done a little bit of soul searching, basically. Had a conversation with my dad. And he said to me, why don't you start a tour company on Bribey? You like four-wheel driving? And I went, you know what, that's not a bad idea. Let's do it. <laughs> all right, awesome, let's go. Life jackets first. <laughs> Which we always wear. <laughs> I am um, very entrepreneurial at heart, and I sort of just, if I think it's a good idea, I'll give it a crack and uh, work everything out, else out along the way. With the pain of not succeeding in his previous business, Jason was terrified to start a new venture, right? No, nah, not at all, to be honest. <laughs> I, don't, I don't really look at things like that, I guess. Maybe it's a bit of a downfall in my character, I'm not sure. Maybe it's a good thing. <laughs> I don't feel the fear of, you know, oh, what if it doesn't work out? Because I know that there's always another opportunity and you're always going to learn lessons and get experience along the way. I worked it out the other day. It was about nine months from inception of business name to first two of being run. So Eastern Grey Kangaroo, we get them on the island as well as the Swamp Wallaby. Uh, there's an Eastern Grey Kangaroo up on the dune right there, actually. Perfect timing. So basically delved into the history side of things, met with a heap of different people, uh, learn along the way and just kept building on all the different knowledge that I've got now. Uh, still to this day, I'm picking up new things all the time. Nothing's ever what we expect. You've got to learn from your mistakes and if you're not making them, uh, well then you're not learning, are you? Oh, we're chasing is the sunset. What keeps me going day to day for this work is the love for Bribey, uh, the love for showing this place off, but also my desire to be successful in the field that I've chosen to be in and to create something that I can hand on to my family, you know, God forbid when I pass, but to my son and, and that sort of thing. Yeah, there's not a lot of places you can just go down, drive on a beach. Yeah, off the beaten track, it's, it's not a standard road. The conditions change all the time. Specifically with like Bribey here, you hit that beach and you got the sound of the ocean. It's just relaxing and it always puts a smile on my face. If you want to check out Jason's four wheel driving tours, you can find out more at g'dayadventuretours.com or head to the Visit Moreton Bay Region website.